But we are underway. The first heat of the third round features Joanna Fay, Carissa Moore and Bianca Batender. And they have been out there for a while now, just getting their feet in their wax. So expecting fireworks from these three ladies. She'll try and cause the huge upset here in the third round. We've got our first rider up as Joanne DeFay. Nice casual approach to kick this one off. Now starting to dig in. Great pace to the waves this morning. It's going to allow these competitors to really let go of a number of turns. Joanne just hang back. Trying to stay as tight to the pocket of this wave. Get those moves done in the most critical sections. She now moves through to the inside. This is where the big points are on offer. Up into this first section. Maintain some speed. Looking for a big finish here on the inside. Just lining it up. Choosing her manoeuvres carefully. Kind of her just getting her momentum going. And then Joanne DeFay, that medium-sized wave. Like we said, the ladies are going to try and uh, use different equipment. It seems like Joanne's picked something with a bit more foam, but also a lot of rocker through that surfboard. I like the way that Joanne really worked this way, wave over. She kept moving, she kept going rail to rail, kept going to that white water to get back to that critical section. It flattens out here this wave, so kind of a different set for her. But the one thing that really stands out to me is the way that Joanne attacked this wave on the inside. As soon as it stood up, she was there to come to the party. And this last section over here, it's so important to finish off these waves, and Joanne did that so well. Meanwhile, on the outside, the tallest surfer in the draw, Bianca, is going to get things underway. Grew up surfing on a right-hand point break. Up at Victoria Bay, has a really solid read when the waves get to this side, just styling her way through to the middle section of the wave now. As you can see, quite a bit of size in the conditions today. Really clean lines. But the surfers having to adjust with their equipment. Watch Bianca's wave from start to finish here and just get an indication of how she's feeling. She has that slow tempo. She's always looking to find herself in that critical section, so heads back to that white water. This wave was very slopey to begin with. Here it starts to double up. She could have had an opportunity to go straight down and really just connect with that lip, but she's taking her time on this wave see there there's a little bit of a stumble on on that bottom turn but this wave is super flat big opportunity here with a nice looking set wave standing up on the outside and the three-time world champ dropping in instantly goes looking for speed taking a high line through this first carve bit of foam on the face here no problem for the powerful hawaiian she is just biding her time now, just waiting. Patience is key on Jeffrey's Bay's long walls. And Carissa understanding that as this wave starts to bowl out. Here's a good section for a solid hit. She delivers, drops out of the lift, straight back into the bowl again. Just looking a little bit more dynamic than her rivals. But unfortunately, she's going to get the final turn wrong. And the opportunity to turn in a huge number there is lost. So Carissa opening up her exchange here in round three. Just love those roundhouse sweeps that Carissa is able to unleash on these waves. Waiting for this frothy section just to clean up the face of this wave. It's always interesting to see this first heat of the morning and how the ladies handle the conditions. It's such a good indication for the rest of the round. And here Carissa digs in. Wave starts to double up. This end section is where a lot of the points are going to come from today. And you can tell that she so badly wanted to hang on to that maneuver. A huge one for Carissa. Had she come out of that, I'm sure the score would have gone, uh, you know, excellent and above. I think she's still going to get a pretty healthy number for the surfing she was doing. And you can tell the free surfers right there, she surfed that wave a ways down. So a long paddle back to the outside for her. Having a think about this one. And she opts to go. Good looking bowl, standing up for this first turn. Nice hook off the top. Does well to maintain control, riding down through that steep bowl section. Sticking close to the pocket as she finds her flow through to the inside. That wave's unfortunately going to section off and get away from her. 
So Bianca, like you said, utilizing her priority on this wave, waits for that lift to stand up and then meets it there, gets a tiny bit hung up, but then also waits to come around the section, deep bottom turn, that second maneuver was beautiful. And then third, just digging in right there. So three beautiful maneuvers from Bianca. Let's see how the judges reward that. Out the back, in the blue with priority, it's Carissa Moore. She has those big, drawn-out, open-face turns that can really help generate some huge scores. Let's see what she can do with this one. Back in third spot. Needs a 1.01 to climb in a second. She's probably already done that. As she just goes to town. It's like snowboarding out there on these big, long walls for the three-time world champ. This is Carissa just pacing herself. Waiting for the opportunity to change her approach, get a little bit more vertical on this open face. And this one is going to shut down in a big way on the inside. Clean sequence, a, a big open face, smooth calves, but how's that going to score, Rosie? When you're getting back out to the outside, love the way that she just kind of appeared on this wave. You can tell that there's a lot of thump in this lineup at the moment. Like you said, she wants to keep it tight to that pocket. The sweeping cutback of hers, trying to find a little bit more of a bowly section to work with. This wave starts to bowl up over here, so another beautiful cutback. The judges, they said this morning when they sent out the text message, they want to see variety. Obviously, this wave didn't really offer up that opportunity to get um, anything apart from cutbacks going. And then the, when this wave stood up, there really wasn't too much opportunity to make connection with that lip. That was a meaty inside section. Even with that wave running down the point for her to kind of get that connection with that last maneuver and bring it down. And you've done cutbacks all the way through. You might as well do something substantial on that inside section. So big opportunity here for Joanne DeFay. Already has the highest single ride of this heat, but finds herself back in third place. Bianca had a six on her first, uh, her second ride, sorry. So jo Joanne certainly within reach of the lead here, and that turn's gonna help her case. And again, just swoops off the top. She just seems to be throwing a little bit more at these sections than her rivals at the moment. Hangs onto the carb and is willing to really risk it all on the end section. And looks like she's gonna go for the, the run around. Oh, but Joanne DeFay, wow, what a read on this wave. Staying in that pocket, she could have maybe just dropped down and got loose on that section right there but you can tell that she's got great timing on this wave and it's really starting to sit quite nicely third turn a lot of spray so you can tell she's connecting every section but there is definitely a little bit of room for improvement in some of these sections she can find you know fit a few more turns in in that pocket but beautiful read i think that's going to be one of the better waves of the heat so far I think her game plan to finish these waves off is really working in her favour. As Bianca on the outside. Gets up to her feet, driving into a steeper section here. Big swoop off the top. Again, hooking turn. Throwing plenty of water and redirects beautifully to mix things up with a more vertical approach there. The South African just showing her knowledge of the break here at the moment. And chipping away at this one. Running away, so maybe going for a hit could have been a bit of a better option for her. But Bianca, I love the way she gets going on this wave. Watch the way that she just takes her time at the bottom, really draws out that bottom turn. And then also just make sure that she goes right to the bottom of the wave so she can draw it out some more. So third turn there, stunning. And then just kind of moseying on down through every section. And then even going for a big finish over here. I mean, it wasn't super dynamic. Final section two, Carissa on the outside. Let's see if she gives us a bit more aggression on the end section here. A real quality in her carving turns. As she lines up the barrel, tucks in. Doesn't get much more committed than that. As you get to that closeout section, but Chris is going to go down there. Once those two ways for Bianca and also Joanne drop in, but we didn't get to see the beginning stages of this ride. Beautiful, long, stretched out wall for Carissa. Just a stunning turn in that pocket. I think this is the Carissa that we're used to seeing, just attacking from the onset. You can tell this way fattens out a tiny bit there, though. 
beautiful swoops from her there and then sets up this barrel section. That's going to give you some massive points, that point of difference, finding that barrel section. Obviously, just the, the fact that they're going to be surfing uh, four heats to get to the, the podium is going to really be a, a big factor too. As on the outside, we see Carissa taking off. Just beautiful to watch on a big open face. Love the commitment to that turn and just the comfort and bringing that cut back all the way back to the foam. Bit wobbly there. Can she correct it with something huge off the top? Drives up into the section. There's a bigger hit. So finishing this wave off well, she'll get out of there. This wave and then Carissa. You know, her surfing, her style, it's so stunning, so smooth. But you've got to note that those these cutback maneuvers to the judges, they're just transitional maneuvers. So when she does kind of find those major maneuvers, this one in particular, just beautiful to see her go up into that lip. And a little bit hung up there, but it's this move right here that, that's really going to catch the judges' attention. That, for me, was the best move that Carissa's done in this heat so far. And if she can combo up maneuvers like that on a wave, do three or four of them, she's going to get up into that excellent range. She's going to get the lead back and, and get back in the conversation to move forward in this event. And on the outside, Joanne DeFay. Only had two waves prior to this one, but has just been putting in a marathon effort. Two big run arounds. Hooks that one under the pocket. Oh, wow. Solid turn there. And she pin drops under that wave to get herself back out into the lineup. Big exchange though on some huge open faces. You walk the keyhole here and you, yeah. you get to that point where you're ready to jump off. You're like, sweet, I'm yeah. out there. And, and then there's that <laughs> second little shelf. It lies just below the surface. And if that water draws out at that point, you're really stuffed. Exactly. And uh, Joanne DeFay, beautiful surfing from her. Love the fact that she plopped back out in the lineup and was able to pick up a wave pretty much immediately. See her just leaning on the back of that surfboard proton model from Channel Islands, a bit more length, that rounded pin fits in so well, that last maneuver. Just love to entertain and feed and put get the bra going. Man, I'm gonna be playing excess on the way home for sure. Here we go. <laughs> oh. oh Bianca. She's gonna go down there. Hopefully that wasn't a result of a, a pop fin. Withdraw from that ride because Bianca's got priority over her. Beautiful looking wall, the crowd willing her on. Starts with a nice big speed burn off the top, up into the pocket. That is a big backhand jam there. And lines up again. Her patience off the bottom looks great at the moment. Has allowed her to tee off on some nice big sections. Wow. That was a bigger wave. She only needs to do something better than a six to increase her lead over Carissa here at the moment. And there's only 35 seconds to go. I'd say guarantee she's going to improve. But also, she kept Carissa more off the wave. And Carissa is a real danger here at the moment. Joanne holds priority over Carissa Moore. She's going to snake this last wave. And as a result, the three-time world champ and one of the favourites here at the Corona Open J-Bay is going to be sent packing. Joanne absolutely attacking this last ride. Oh, my gosh. Joanne DeFay is on a tear. I would not be surprised if Joanne goes all the way in this event with the surfing that she's doing. So really letting it go on that end section. Unsuccessful, but it's not going to matter. She had two pretty decent rides. She was out in front. So you can see the disappointment there. You know, coming into Jeffrey's Bay, we just expected so much of her. So true. You can tell that she's kind of just taking this moment in, knowing that, uh, you know, she is not going to advance into the quarterfinals. That's heartbreak for her.